Hello, this is Jima. Thank you very much for watching this and giving me a comment and good sign. That makes me so happy every day. And today I wanna talk about my stories that I've been drawing these days. And I draw five eggs or seed or beans about two weeks ago. Then I'm putting a story on it. And the first egg became a little bird type of thing, little strange creature. Uh, second one, I put that egg or seed into the water and wondering what's gonna happen. And a few days later, the egg's skin type of things floated on the water because egg was sinked under the water in the water tank. Then kind of skin type of things came out and floated in a few days later. Then, so I just leave it. <laughs> if I leave it in the water, that's not really good. So I thought it was better to clean the water tank. So I empty the water, then find it out. A strange type of creature, like an axolotl, like a baby frog, has legs and had a like a muffler type of thing around the face. Then that creature was in the water tank in the bottom. The creature was in the bottom of the water tank, I say. <laughs> so I put that on a thumbnail today. So I'm enjoying making story from my drawings. I'm talking about the axolotl. When I was in Australia, I had an axolotl. I had an axolotl, like a salamander, as my pet. Not a food. I heard that axolotl is a um, gourmet food in Mexico. I was really surprised. Such a cute creature. And in Japan, white axolotl called Upa Looper. I thought that Upa Looper is English name, but it wasn't. No one understood what I, when I said Upa Looper in Australia. So the correct name is Axolotl or Salamander in the world. So at that time, I had one small white axolotl, like this big, like this big first, at the beginning. It's very round shaped and it looks like a baby frog, tadpole, already had legs. So I feed it, but the axolotl couldn't see well or didn't have a sense of nose or something, it didn't eat a food at all. Then it became thinner and thinner. And I was really worried about it. Then I used the chopsticks, then grab the little puddle type of food, then I could put in front of the axolotl, then shake it, and the axolotl just grab the food. I was feeding by chopsticks. Then after that, the axolotl start to grow very well, and it's become bigger and bigger and bigger. First, I had a little tank, small water tank, to have it. Then, when I was cleaning the tank, accidentally I break the water tank. Then I had to buy a new one. Unfortunately, at the pet shop, didn't have a small same sized water tank. So I bought a bigger one. Then I started to grow it again. Not again, started to use a bigger tank. From that day, 
the rock salt became bigger and bigger and bigger, like twice as length as before. It almost the length of the water tank. I realized that axolotl become bigger if they live in a big space. When I bought them, uh, when I bought it, it was so tiny and cute. But the end, it became longer like an eel. Then it didn't look cute anymore. So I had a really interesting story. Of axolot. I thought it doesn't swim. I think yeah, it swims sometimes in a water tank, but usually it sleep under no sleep bottom of the water tank and just like a crawl a little bit, and that's all. It doesn't move a lot. Sometimes it hide under the like a tree type of shape object. But another day, it was flow in the surface of the water tank. I was really surprised. Oops, it might pass away. But it's not upside down. It's like a usual way. It just flowed. So I just poke it to check if it's alive or not. Suddenly, it's just like a panic and swim like a nothing. Then, yes. He was alive. I don't know he was she, but <laughs> yes, he was alive. Yeah, I saw a few times just floating, like enjoying in the surface or air or something. Yeah, that's scary. And another day, I found a really cute goldfish in the pet shop. I bought one, quite big size. Gold, round shaped gold, gold, goldfish. So I thought it's okay. Axolotl is very quiet. So they can live together. So I put it in the same water tank. First, each other doesn't affect anything. But when the goldfish became bigger and bigger, she or he start to poke. The axolotl. And axolotl has a gill by the face. And goldfish try to poke or eat or I don't know. They instead poke the axolotl. But axolotl doesn't, didn't do anything. Didn't escape, didn't move or whatever. So okay. It might be good friends or something. So I didn't care about it. One morning, when I feed the goldfish and also axolotl, I realized no goldfish in the water tank. I couldn't see it. Goldfish is always swim in the water. Seldom hide behind something. So I look through carefully in the water tank, but I couldn't find it. Then I realized there was a tail came coming out from the mouth of axolotl. Actually, he ate it. I don't know if it was accident or meant to be, but yes, he just grabbed the fat goldfish and tail coming out from the mouth of the axolotl. Then just he swallowed all of it. So goldfish became a food of axolot. So I thought I was a little bit worried about axolot, but he was pretty good. He didn't eat a food in few days after he ate a big meal, but it was sad story, but it was very interesting. So if I have a chance, I want to have our axolotl again, maybe. Okay, that's all for today. <laughs> Thank you very much listening my funny stories and memory of axolotl. Talk to you soon. See you. Have a good day.